Well, hello, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us today for the Andesite Blue webinar. Really looking forward to going over our program, how it works, and how we're going to help with rebuilding Ukraine and offering passive income through our emerging market corporate income bonds. Before I go through everything, I'm required to give a disclaimer. I'm going to do that very briefly, and then we'll go through the interesting part of the presentation. So as accredited investors, you will be aware that all investments carry some element of risk. This investment is only available to investors who are able to assess their own appetite for risk. Please read the risk statement within the investment memorandum before investing. Okay, well, fantastic. We've got that disclaimer done. Now we'll go. Now we'll go through this. So, we offer a, a plan to help with the reconstruction and building of uh, Ukraine. This is a private company, a UK company called uh, Andesite Blue. We're registered at Companies House. We offer an emerging market bond that pays from seven point one five percent to as high as eight point eight five percent, depending on the term of the bond. And we invest into the emerging market of Ukraine. We were here before the war, and we're going to be here after the war. We've always been active in Ukraine, and we'll go through uh, how everything works. Basically, you invest in andesite blue bonds, and then we pay 7.15 to 8.85 percent interest. With that investment, we are able to fund the reconstruction. We're able to fund healthcare projects, surgical clinics, real estate investments, agriculture, and a variety of projects. So let me introduce the team. I'm just going to briefly mention each team member, but you can on our website, if you go to andesiteblue.co.uk, you can get more information. If you go to our website, there's considerably more information there on our on our team. But I'm just going to kind of highlight some of the team members, and then we're going to, on a few of them, we'll, we'll mention them in a bit more detail as we go through the presentation here. So the first team member is Nigel Brigden. He's a UK citizen. He's actually the chairman of our board of directors. He's a highly qualified and experienced banker with an in-depth understanding of all aspects of banking that he obtained over a 40-year career. He has excellent contacts throughout the city of London, and uh, he has tremendous experience uh, with uh, domestic and international securities markets, and he's a team member and our chairman of the board. We have Christina Katrakis. She is our international investment coordinator. Uh, she has uh, been involved and coordinated a number of multi-million dollar projects worldwide, and uh, she's had a really impressive career, um, and she brings a lot to the team. We have Tetiana Kiltika. She is a Ukrainian, but she's also a UK citizen now. She has a UK uh, uh, passport. She's uh, living in London. And her experience includes project management, budget management, and team leadership. She founded actually a UK company prior to Andesite Blue that was focused on the recruitment from abroad for work opportunities for Ukrainians in the UK and Ireland. Uh, she she adds a lot to the team, and we're we're happy to have her as a team member. We have Stephen Dyball. He is our senior operations management. He has a tremendous amount of experience with emerging markets. Uh, he has worked in over 20 emerging markets around the world, and we will have a different slide where we put some more details in, but uh, he brings a lot to the team. We have Mike Wilson, who is uh, a co-founder of Andesite Blue. He's an American citizen, uh, and he also has a, a lifetime of business experience. Um, uh, he has been involved with uh, a number of companies. He's worked at some large companies as well, including AT&T, Brother, Panasonic, but all his life, he's also been involved with uh, business. As for myself, uh, I'm an American, 
And uh, prior to forming Andesite Blue, uh, I have been very active in real estate, commercial real estate, and uh, rental properties all over the United States. Uh, and then I've also been involved in uh, different startup companies and businesses. So I've I bring that experience to the team. I'm a I'm a graduate at the University of Colorado at Boulder, double major economics and Russian studies. Uh, we have Vasil Milnik, and uh, Vasil is a Ukrainian citizen. Vasil Milnik is a Ukrainian citizen, but he's one of he's uh, very experienced not only in business, but he's also connected with the government of Ukraine. Uh, he was a former uh, director in the Ministry of Finance of Ukraine. Uh, he, he was elected from the Vitaly Klitschko bloc. And uh, his professional experience and knowledge of political processes is extensive and invaluable. We have Anatoly Landman, also a Ukrainian citizen. He's a businessman. Uh, if you've ever traveled to Kiev, Ukraine, the metro that is there in Kiev, he was responsible for the implementation of that project in terms of making sure that the internet was installed. So he organized that project. Fantastic uh, team member. We have Dr. Mark Hong. Uh, Dr. Mark Hong is an American citizen. He's our chief medical officer. He's an oral surgeon from the United States, but he's also practiced in the United Kingdom. He's involved because we are not only making investments in uh, real estate and manufacturing and agriculture, but we're also involved in the healthcare space, uh, dental and medical clinics, and he brings a lot of experience in that direction of the team. We have Andrew Richings, who is a consultant. He's a UK citizen, and he's the founder of a company called Thomas Kelly Holdings, which is a boutique private consultancy firm that is focused on fixed income bonds for ultra high net worth and high net worth sophisticated investors. So uh, he helps us with compliance, with regulations in the UK and a number of different things. So he's very experienced. Now let's talk about the opportunities. We have all seen uh, the, the war. We know what's going on there. The government of Ukraine actually created a very interesting initiative called the Twinning Reconstruction Initiative. And basically, different countries take patronage over cities in Ukraine. So the United Kingdom takes patronage 